What's up guys, today's day 290 on our journey to 2000, I'm pretty sure. And in today's video, we're gonna play a 10 minute rapid game. I just wanted to give you a little update on what's going on in life as it relates to chess. Uh, at work, I've been working long days. For example, today I got up and I did morning stuff. I even uh, did some chess puzzles in the morning. And then I went to work at around eight. I got to, well, no, like nine, nine o'clock I left. And I just came home and it's currently 10, 18 PM. I didn't eat since the morning and I'm not saying this for you to feel bad for me or something, but it's just, it makes it hard to make, to, to, to kind of focus in on these videos and on playing well. So I'm just saying that because yeah, that's, that's kind of something to keep in mind. If you see me raging at losing a game or whatever, or playing badly and that's, that's, that's just the update. That's it. Okay. Also, apparently chess.com just started introducing the streaks and I just clicked off of it, whatever. <laughs> it's apparently if you play every day, you'll be on a streak. And for me, it says I'm on a streak of 36, but I'm on a longer streak. I thought um, playing games keeps the streak. I guess since we have been making videos for 290 days, it feels like it should be 290, but I wasn't playing games all of those days. Like if I had to go somewhere, um, on vacation or there was a holiday i would play one or two games and, and then just pre-record the video but anyway let's get into the game are you probably tired of me yapping and see how we do against this 1848 rated player from the philippines actually today i was talking for those that don't know i work as a chess coach at a chess club today i was talking to one of the coaches is very strong about we were talking about um, chess and the opening that I play. And he actually suggested I don't go bishop g4, which is what I tend to do a lot. Because why give up the bishop, right? And you want to have the bishop pair. I guess I take the easy way out. And he was actually suggesting something in a similar line to this. He was suggesting c5, because if takes, we have queen a5. With the idea of taking this pawn. So maybe I'll actually play that. Um, first, let's castle. If push takes takes and we come to the middle, I think it's fine. So let's do that. And our opponent is playing fast, so I'm sure they're about to make a move. Yep. Um, let's go for this idea. Maybe it doesn't work now. Maybe it does. Actually, I know this position. If the bishop came here, I would have gotten knight, knight c6. I remember memorizing that. I didn't actually learn to play c5 here, but let's play it anyway. Oh, now it doesn't work because the bishop covers this, so I, I don't know why I played that. Okay, I'm just going to take a center thing. I think that's an easy decision. And then knight here, attacking the bishop. So I, I think I probably didn't play this right, but my opponent helped. If bishop takes, attacks, takes, takes, bishop comes back. But if pawn takes, I have an isolated pawn, so let's take with the bishop. Okay, I don't really know what that does. Uh, we could bring the knight here. If pawn attacks, we have this intermezzo move to save our bishop, or actually just take. And if um, bishop, knight takes, bishop takes, maybe we could do an attack like this to bring the queen in. So let's do that. Okay, again, we can come in with the check and even pick up a pawn here. Then rook comes here. And do we have any other moves? Maybe bishop just comes back here. I mean, we're helping him kind of maybe by taking here. So let's see if knight comes back yeah maybe it's not as good as i thought maybe i'm gonna come here and then e6 could be this could be okay uh, of course bishop here looks pretty good but now i expect something like h3 maybe even h4 or just castling okay he takes that makes sense too and what's the idea here we could bring the bishop here keeping an eye on this diagonal knight takes though um we could bring the bishop back, but then pawn comes here. Something like here, here, here. Is this okay? His pawns are pushed out really far. Our bishop could go to g4. No, and then it gets trapped. Bringing the bishop back, how does that help us? Eh, uh, I could see how it helps. Let's do that. And then we're just gonna... Okay. Um, I wanna come here. If takes, we take, so that doesn't make sense. So let's just do it. If takes, we can, um, we can check. Do we want to open up the rook? Let me think here. If check, then he pushes the pawn forward. So that doesn't make sense, right? If takes with the pawn, where does his knight go? 
It goes like to B4 where it does nothing. Um, but of course we're weakening this diagonal. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Cause we're gonna go with this weakening this in case he wants to castle. I think that makes sense. Do we have any other moves here? Uh, we could go here, but actually this could threaten some annoying stuff for our opponent, right? Pushing the queen away and coming here. I'm so curious to see if that's the right move, but this just looks more natural. Now, if the pawn pushes, um, we can, actually, I don't, I don't know. Oh, we can come bishop here. No, queen here, check, pawn pushes. Maybe queen here prepping the bishop move. I'm thinking this is pretty good now. If he doesn't, yeah. Now, queen here. I think that looks pretty good. Our opponent is playing. Wait, what did I just do? I, I, I went queen h5 first. What am I doing? Oh my god, I'm so freaking stupid. You see what I mean, guys? This is what I'm telling you. I was out the whole day and now I'm super tired and making really dumb decisions. Thankfully, my opponent is pretty dumb themselves. So, what? Okay. I want to come here, but then knight, fork, and if takes, he takes. I could come here and then maybe I take this. This doesn't look that appealing. Let's just do it. Maybe he's stupid and doesn't see this. Ugh, I didn't see that. Oh, you could take. Ah, uh, I could take here. Go here. Really bad. Really, really bad. Oh, what? <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean, guys? I'm losing game after game. 80.9% accuracy, like a 1900. Yeah, okay. Against 2250, supposedly. So, oh my god, yeah. So C5 was correct. And this gave me an advantage because of knight g4 attacking the bishop. But this still gives 0.8, really? All of these are book moves and it gives 0.8? What kind of shitty opening is this? <laughs> so anyway, here I could have attacked. Now if I attack and the bishop goes away, I can take something like takes and I have e5. If takes, I have actually knight taking, um, bishop taking, or knight c6. Knight c6 might look stupid, but I guess the idea here is that you're opening everything up, the bishop becomes open. I think the Pierce is good for open positions, right? And you could see here, like, um, it looks pretty good. Something like this just completely loses the game. Um, if you try to run away, that's it, I'm winning the rook. So, anyway. So, I'm, I'm actually winning here. I'm playing all the best moves, actually. And, and then I bring the knight in, which was dumb. Um, it was dumb. Computer liked bishop g4, which I considered... Didn't I, like, mention bishop g4, but I still play knight d4? Like, bishop g4 is a beautiful move. Now, if it gets attacked, fine. We're just gonna break open your king. You're definitely not gonna castle this direction. And now I could give this this check. And now you can't castle at all. Right? And that's it. Like, this just showcases why this is such a terrible uh, set of moves. Right, and in this position we have some discovered attack possibilities. Uh, if he tries to attack, we have the knight coming in for a double check so he can't take our queen. And uh, this just looks like a checkmate almost. This looks really bad. Something like this and you are you lose the queen, I think. Uh, maybe you don't actually, maybe you just take it. Wow, I'm finding all the best moves. Maybe I just gotta play like it's freaking blitz. God damn. Anyway. This was so stupid. This was so stupid. I literally talked about doing this uh, and I didn't do it. Now, I didn't think this was winning because of this. But computer says you just go g7. My bishop is literally protecting the b7 pawn. What am I saying? Why did I overthink that? And then all of this was fine already. Oh, opening up the rook made sense. Uh, and here I wonder, uh, right away I just see queen b6. You're just putting pressure everywhere. Wait, no, this was the move I wanted to play, and that was the best move. Why are I should just play off instincts? This is an inaccurate move. Now, the, the problem I saw with this move is he could just queenside castle. But then I thought this was pretty strong. I was just completely right. I was freaking completely right that this was that this was strong. Now, unfortunately, here I probably would have tried to be a little tricky or something and played bishop uh, h6. Computer likes just taking the free pawn. And after like something like bishop c2, I have bishop d7. I 
I don't understand that. Oh, maybe to up to, to bring the other rook into the game. I could see that being the reason actually. Yeah, f2 being the next or or even yeah, I'm not sure. But this kind of becomes very interesting. My queen move was stupid. I don't know what I was thinking here. The idea was this um uh whatever, I don't even know, whatever. And then this. This was my big idea. And this is still winning. And I, somehow my brain didn't connect. And, and I, I freaking... I, I'm tired, guys. I'm really tired. Like, I'm just tired. I had a long day. It was a good day at work. I enjoyed it. But it was long and I'm tired. And, like, I have to, like, change this. I can't record at 10 p.m. anymore. It's just... It ruins the games. I, like, I'm playing like shit. Even though computer says 1900 or whatever. Excuse my language, by the way. Um, but so frustrating. Like... I guess I taught like, I don't know, I taught like three, four hours of chess today and I, I spent like 20 minutes on, on chess puzzles in the morning and I was running around and I was doing office work and I'm not complaining again, it's just, it goes to show like even if you think you could do everything, the brain gets overloaded sometimes. Like I just need to relax right now and I love playing games, I love recording, I love talking to you guys, but this is not relaxing, right? Trying to increase my rating is not relaxing. And uh, putting myself into this position is just not smart. Like, I, how do I talk about the move, queen h5, and I still play the bishop move after, like, a 10-second thought? Like, 10-15 second thought. Like, it's just really bad. It's just really bad. And then, I mean, I didn't really want to play this anymore. This is just, this is, this is just sad. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Hope you like the shirt, Poo at the Zoo. The elephant poo is the biggest. Um, and if you watched this far... Then say, uh, chill, because that's what I got to become, chill. Have a great one. See you next time, and bye-bye.